In this video, we are going to learn about prisms. A prism is a type of polyhedron. It's a 3D solid, which has two faces that are parallel to each other, and those are called the bases. So pictured here, we have two different prisms, and they're each prisms because they have these two parallel bases. The one on the left, these two bases on the top and on the bottom, are parallel to each other. And notice that these are each squares, so this is called a square prism. Or you could call it a rectangular prism, since rectangles or since squares are rectangles. Now with the one on the right, it is also a prism because it has two parallel bases, which are each triangles. So this would be called a triangular prism. Notice that in each case, the prism, the bases, are connected by rectangles. So all of these faces that connect the bases in both the square prism and the triangular prism are rectangles. So even if the bases are not rectangles, the lateral faces will always be rectangles. So these are called lateral faces and they're always rectangles for prisms. Now when you're dealing with three-dimensional solids, there's two measurements that you often will want to know. One is surface area and the other is volume. So that's what we're going to talk about next. Surface area would be the area of the net if you were to unfold the whole prism. In other words, it's the sum of the area of all the faces. So if you wanted to figure out the surface area of this square prism, you would need to know some of the dimensions, the lengths of the edges, in order to figure out the area of each rectangle and the area of the squares. And then you would add them all up. The other measurement that you will often want to know is volume. And volume is a three-dimensional measurement. It is literally asking you to think about how many unit cubes would it take to fill up the whole solid? So how many little unit cubes would it take to fill up the whole thing? Now for a prism, what you have to realize is that the area of the base, so that would be the area of the triangle over here, or the area of the square over here, that calculation tells you how many unit cubes it would take for one layer of the solid. So just one layer up. So the area of the base tells you how many you need for one layer. So once you figure out how many you need for one layer, you just need to figure out how many layers of cubes would you need to fill up the whole thing. So let's say, for example, you needed 10 cubes for the first layer, and you know that you'd have to have eight layers total in order to fill the whole solid. That would mean that the volume of that solid must be 80 because each of the eight layers would need 10 cubes. So that's the idea of volume of prisms. The way you calculate it is you take the area of the base and multiply by the height. The area of the base is the area of whatever the base is. So if it's a triangle, it's the area of the triangle. If it's a square, it's the area of the square. If it's a pentagon, it's the area of the pentagon. But that's really just telling you how many cubes do you need for that first layer. And then you multiply by the height because that tells you how many layers do you need for the whole prism. So this formula for volume works for prisms. It wouldn't work for any polyhedron, but it does work for prisms because prisms are built in layers. So for any prism, if you want to find surface area, you just figure out the area of all the faces and add them up. There's not really any special formula. You just have to do the work for that. 
For volume, you need to figure out the area of the base for whatever shape the base happens to be, and then multiply by the height. 